Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Kaylee Grows. Um, and today we are going to be doing, I hope this isn't too late, um, kind of a gift guide for different planty people. So I'm gonna be going through a couple of plants that I have in my collection. So these are plants that I personally grow um, that are good for beginner plant people, medium plant people, and advanced plant people. And when I say advanced, it's not like crazy, crazy advanced. <laughs> um, I'm still, I'm going to say like medium to advanced in my skill level. Um, if I was home a little bit more often, I could probably handle something a little bit more difficult, but I'm not home very much. So, um, I have three plants from each category. I'm going to go from easiest to most difficult. Of course, if you are buying for a planty friend, I recommend asking them if they want a plant. People like me, um, I have a huge collection and I want to make sure that I have a spot for it before I get a plant. Um, you can always buy someone a cool pot or uh, a gift card to a plant place or even um, uh, like ceramics classes to make their own pot. That's always a good idea for planty people if they do not want a plant. But if they do want a plant, here is my recommendations. All right, so for beginner plant parents, I'm gonna say something that is very easy, very forgiving, um, and I have three plants for them. The first one I am going to say is a golden pothos. This is a tried and true plant. It is very easy to grow. It's very forgiving. If you do over or under water it, you can always cut it back, put it in some water and it'll regrow roots. So it is very forgiving in that way. Um, they are very fast growing. So if they're someone who likes to see results, um, this is a very good plant for them. So I recommend a golden pothos. This is a staple for any collection and it's very good for beginner plant parents. All right, the next one that I have for a recommendation is going to be an aloe plant. So aloe plants are succulent. They do not need to be watered quite as often. It's about uh, every other week or so. So it's kind of whenever they remember. I also always recommend aloe plants because they are perfect for the kitchen. I love a usable plant. So you can always break off a piece of aloe and use it on burns. Um, you could do this with sunburn. You could do it with any um, skin care as well. I did have a friend who had issues with her skin and she put aloe on her face every night and it actually cleared up all of her skin issues. Um, but aloe is just another staple for any household. Even people who don't have plants, I recommend having an aloe plant in their house just because they are so cute, but also so usable. All right, number three that I have for my easy plants for new plant parents um, is a snake plant. And this is gonna be one that if you want, you can buy it small, you can buy it large, however much you want to spend. Um, you can put them in high light or low light and they are going to survive. They of course do better in higher light situations, but if they do put them in a darker corner, not like no sunlight, not like a bathroom with no windows, um, but a corner that doesn't quite get as much light, it will still survive. And this is a plant that as long as you just touch the soil and if it's somewhat dry, you can water it and it will be fine. Um, if it's still wet, you can just wait and water it another time. Um, I water my snake plant every three or four weeks and it is absolutely fine. This one has actually been passed down from my mother. Uh, it has been alive almost my entire life. So um, they live a very long time as well. You can get very small ones, you can get very large ones. So depending on what you wanna get your friend, you can get them a snake plant. All right, and then for your medium difficulty plants, um, these three are a little bit different. Um, I am going to, number one, recommend a Crimson Queen Hoya. So Hoyas, I consider a medium care level plant. And this is because they don't need a ton of 
watering, but they do like consistency if you want them to grow and bloom. Ooh, sorry, I have the hiccups. Um, if you want them to grow and bloom, they do need a little bit of consistency. Um, but the Crimson Queen Hoya, I have had the most success fit with. Mine has grown a ton and I love the little variegation that is on it. It has this white um, uh, rim around their leaves and they are just absolutely beautiful. Again, you can get them in a small pot or a large one depending on what you want to get for your friend. Um, but I love my Crimson Queen Hoya. The next one that I am going to say is a Raphidophora tetrasperma. This one I'm gonna say is a medium care level plant as well, just because again, they like a good steady amount of water. Um, it's another one that as long, if you touch the soil and it is dry, go ahead and water it. Um, but it will be thirsty a little bit more than that snake plant. Um, they do grow very fast. So if you want, if, if you're a friend, um, like something that they can watch grow. They do grow very, very quickly. They do root very well in water if they do want to cut it up and make a bigger plant. Um, I have mine like kind of hanging. I have like a string hanging mine up so it grows upright instead of down. Um, they do like to climb um, and they're just really funky with those fenestrations going on. Um, but this is another good one. And this one you can find in most plant stores now. The last one that I am going to say is my philodendron micans. So this has a really beautiful dark leaf depending on how much sun you are giving it. I grow mine in relatively high light, so it's not a super dark plant. Um, I love trailing plants as well. So this one has a beautiful cascade effect. You can grow them upright, but I like to grow mine uh, hanging. And this is another one that grows relatively quickly. Another one that they like consistent watering. Um, so I'm gonna say that it's again, medium. You do need to watch it because if you do underwater, it does like to drop leaves. That's why mine is a little bit bald on the bottom. I have been very bad about watering my plants lately. Life has just been a little bit crazy, but I love my philodendron micans and I think your plant friend would love it as well. All right, and then the three plants that I have for more experienced plant parents, I'm not gonna say completely expert, um, but they are higher level. Um, so I recommend number one, an Alocasia poly. So Alocasia poly is a very easy to find Alocasia. Um, most Alocasias I'm gonna consider in this uh, higher level range. Um, but polys are very easy to find. They are an easier version of other alocasias. Um, so you're not just gifting someone that, uh, a plant that needs like a ton of work. Um, they do like relatively high humidity. I have mine growing in lower humidity. It just doesn't grow very fast. Um, so I do have to water it a lot. Um, it's beautiful. It's very stereotypical looking for a alocasia, so I'm sure your friend will love it. Um, and alocasia polys also are usually not too expensive. The next one that I have is a string of turtles. String of turtles are a type of peperomia, and this is a plant that needs very consistent care. Um, Mine loves a ton of water, so I need to water her about once a week to keep it very moist and happy. Um, this is a plant that needs to kind of figure out where it is in the house and adjust to it. So it does kind of die back and come back um, once it's used to where it is. Um, but I love my string of turtles. I love the cascade effect. It looks very different than other plants that I have in my home. And this one also usually isn't too expensive. And then last but not least, I recommend a philodendron squamiferum. This is another plant that, the, that your friend might not have in their collection if they are on um, newer advanced plant, plant, plant parents, if that makes any sense. Um, a lot of people will have this plant in their care. It is kind of popular right now, but it is just so funky looking that I think it is so much fun to grow with those uh, really hairy petioles. It's just so interesting. This plant is going to be a little bit more expensive than the other two, 
but it depends on how much you are willing to spend on your friend. Um, this one does love a lot of humidity. It is uh, growing in high light in my care and it is doing pretty well. Um, and it is a fast grower. So I love this plant. I can't wait to give a cutting to one of my friends once mine gets a little bit bigger. Um, but it is a really interesting plant. All right, that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope that you are enjoying your holidays, whatever you might celebrate. And I hope that I helped out in uh, helping you find a plant for one of your friends. I tried to go with stuff that is a little bit different than you might have he heard. Um, beginner plants are, you're going to hear those time and time again. Um, All right, this is editing telly. It looks like my microphone died right at the very end of this video. But I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little while. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like me, hit subscribe. I would love to see you again. Bye.